And yeah, I mean, it's insane seeing him do it. Seeing him do it against players who are normally so effective even in tournaments. Microphone check. So Starscream in the mix. Starscream back in the mix. So it's UK versus UK here. Well, yes. Asim versus um, Kane and Trench. So best of five. And uh, it looks like Kane and Trench is off to a good start. Pressing Asim straight back to the wall. And he's not, he's not wasting any time in starting the unblockables. The shenanigans yes. walks into that. One of the things that's interesting is Kane and Trench finds Asim quite difficult to beat. So this is a, a good test for Kane. They play each other quite a lot as well, don't they? Yes, um, but Asim being a very strong opponent, um, he knows Yoshimitsu quite well, so... You know, Asim taking, wow. taking that first game. Brother versus brother. Running two. The toes on counter hit. Running two. As you can see, Asim forcing the dominance against Kane. So Asim, you can see Asim just sort of holding back now, waiting for Kane to... Ah, he gets it. The rage drive. Will that take him to the wall? Just short. The flash, could that be it? Is that enough? And Kane manages to steal that greatly. So quite even Steven so far. The flash to stop Aston in his tracks. Kane will push towards the wall. What's he got by the wall? That works. Aston with a short combo, side combo for his own. Kane not breaking these grabs. Aston goes for the blue. Asim with the blue pill, but to no avail. Hiding on pressure here. Kane fighting back, gets the punish with the Warazing 4. Just one hit away. Trying to poke. Yes, gets the down 4, seals it. Two rounds to one here. Goes up. Kane showing extreme resilience there, you know. Keeping the presence of mind in order to, to close out that right. Running two from Asim. Sword. Ooh! Kane with the launch. He's going to take him to the wall. Ah! Uh, Aha, uh -huh, he just wanted to do that. <laughs> and Kane and Trench looking really good. First game with ease against Atom here. Kane and Trench very composed, very took that, focused. Took that with relative ease, didn't he? Well, yeah, it, it seemed like um, uh, Asim didn't manage to, to exert his gameplay that he normally does um, against Kane. So we'll see if Asim sticks with Dragunov. You know, he's got a plethora of characters himself. He's got Loves many... You know, he's got many opportunities um, with different characters, so we'll get to see what he does. Yeah, he loves um, switching wow. up his character choice, but with that said, he's sticking with Dragon up here. Oh, wow. Hit Straight to start in. The match. That's to the wall. Yes. And he backed up a little bit just to observe how Asim was going to get up. So that he didn't do anything and went back in for the attack. So we're straight down. Running two. Get off me. 4-4-2, I think that's uh, an input error. Asim trying to get the, the running two, right? Two. Oh, and oh, he and gets it with blue. Like race drive. And the wall. Oh, oh. Kane and Trench is still in this round now. So no one's got any blue stuff now. Oh. Running two. Oh. Asim with a big... It wasn't necessary, but all right, maybe... That was an overkill right Maybe we call it styling. Not need that. Could have just done down four or whatever. But yeah, gets around nonetheless. Go off me. Chopping at those legs, the 1 1 interrupt. In it, right? Ah, wow. To the wall. Release me. And in his back for the full launch. Ah, oh, what? That's it. Look how much oh, damage that days. did. He stole that from so from much life that did. Kane, a relatively young player, but he's showing such experience. Delivering such so many interesting moments, just showing that he's a master of the element of surprise here. He drops that run at the end of the combo. Lee has already said that if he plays Kane in trench again, he is going to pick Brian. Brian? He said he's confident that he can take the run back in a best of five with Brian Fury against Kane in trench. That's what he said earlier. Kane closes that one out. 
Kane's Kane is managing to dominate against Asin. Against Asin. That's something that we very rarely see. Tell spin. And this is so one-sided right now. It's just dragging off with his back to the wall all the time. Kane is on him. <laughs> his back must be so hot after all those candle burns. Release me. Yes. Another one. Kane and Trench having a good time here versus Asim. Good assembly. Oh, no. Asim, this is where the like fun go. stops. Barge. Yes. Everyone's Showing him the shoulders. That head and shoulders. 2-2. Two, two. This is still winners. Still the winner side. Yeah, I mean, these guys want grand final. You know, these guys want that extra advantage of sets. You know, so it's important to get to grand finals in winning. They want they want those bragging rights. They want to exert their show their dominance in the game. Yep, they've both got a big round right now. I mean one one is a completely different story to two zero. Oh and there's the flash. That's looking closer to two zero now after that. And that is it. Kane and Trench, two zero. You know, it is quite interesting seeing Kane play like this. Um, he's so focused. He's so focused. So I'm very, I'm very curious what Asim's going to do. I, I, I'd be surprised if he goes with that same match again. Um, he knows what game plan he wants to use, and he's going with it, and he's making it work, and he's forcing Asim to doubt himself. He's forcing yes. Asim to wonder Round if one. he's the right character, if he's playing the right way. This, these things are all working in Kane and favor right now. Asim catches him out the air. Those are Kuma's strategies against, against Yoshimitsu. Sometimes it feels like Asim is unstoppable. He doesn't ever seem to take... Um, you know, his like, game doesn't seem to I feel like Asim is hard to condition. Yes, yes. You don't ever condition Asim. He has his thing, and they might work or they might not. But he's still doing his thing. Yes, yeah. You're not going to train him into doing something... You want. Oh my goodness, what are we seeing here? Don't tell me that was deliberate. Kane and Trench, fully feeling himself. And he's all over the shop right now. Asim is being forced to buy what he's selling. 2-0 down here. And there's a throw, and it wasn't broken. Good damage for Asim. But he needs a lot more where that came from. He wants a chance here. Forward for 2 for low as well. Ah. But there's a rage drive, and that has worked out perfectly for Caden Trench, but he doesn't get the follow-up. He's left him alive. And there's a floaty float. No Coca-Cola. Nice slow parry there. There's the tailspin. Take him to the wall. Shoulder. Running two. Oh, he's getting a lot of mileage off of throws all of a sudden. Yes. Um, I believe Dragonov has a, a full set of all three throws, so you have to guess. If you haven't done your throw homework, you know, they can be in for some trouble. Definitely a strength that he has. Oh, oh my days. We're running two. Get out of here. Such a dominant move. Fight. Ah, he clearly clicked him, but... Stand on the back of his head, and Asim gets the wow. two circle forward one, takes him to the wall. Kane on the back foot now. Asim will do perfect while standing. There you go. Asim forces his way and puts himself on the map. Now, this is very interesting now. So, Asim, 2-0 two, two down. Stuck uh, to his guns. Stuck to his guns, and managed to, to come back in quite a dominant fashion. That was interesting. Kane and Trench... Yeah, he's uh, yeah he's thinking about some things. I, I I think he wasn't happy with his play in that third game. Yeah, he's, he's a bit disappointed. But I, I, think, I think he was deliberately going for three zero as a strategy. Do not let this guy get started. Do not let him get out of the blocks. And um, but it's two one. That's him. Fought back. Game finishing the whiff there. Back two one. Back two two. Sorry. You want to stay on top of a character. You want to stay on top of a, a character like Asim. Asim as a character, his approach to the game, is very robust in terms of mental mobility. So you want to control someone like that. And this is what Kane and Trench is going for. Kane being very successful, being able to sidestep Oh, wow. look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Making sure that he's always staying one step ahead of Asim. Don't let Asim get into a comfort zone, ever. Asim should probably let go of doing the running twos because Kane's punished him. I mean, yeah, he's been he's been fully evasive. He's been sidestepping stuff all the all set. So yeah, that's the thing. In true Asim fashion, 
We are playing Pokemon with down forward ones here. Bear pokes, bro. Running three gets them. One is two. How do you like them apples? Oh, oh. oh standing four. Both out. Round three. Fight. Asim's an angry person. You guys need to seek this guy help. He's just an aggressive guy. <laughs> just wants to go in and do damage. Yeah. Just wants to hurt people. Sometimes it's all right to just sit down and chill. Have, uh, have some milk. He needs some, some milk. Have some milk. Release me. Kane winning. Ah, yeah, oh, Asim. Kane's dealing it. What a whiff punish. What a whiff punish. Nice. So Kane on tournament on, on um, set point. point. Set point, yeah, he could, he could run away with it. 3-1. Three, three, That's him really got to step it up here. Both guys just looking for that space. No one wants to make that mistake. He gets hit. I think he missed. I think that was a miss input. Yeah. Escaped. Oh, he doesn't escape, escape that. Running two. He oh, sidesteps. Nice. That was so nice. I don't think that'll be it, but Kane's got to think now. Asim, rather. A oh, slice of energy. One hit away here. Asim trying to stay alive to no avail. And Three, Kane one. takes it. 3-1. Really, and Kane and Trench look so comfortable there. Yes. You know, and they, they play, you know, a fair bit. And, and Asim does, does all right against him, doesn't he? Yeah, I, I think...